Um, at about 7.30 today, unfortunately and sadly, a man and a woman died as a result of a fatal crash on the Lincoln Highway near Port Augusta. The drivers of those vehicles were a 37-year-old woman and a 35-year-old male. In the vehicle that the 35-year-old male was driving was a 27-year-old colleague of that man who was seriously injured and is now currently in hospital receiving treatment. Major crash have attended the scene and are investigating the causes of that collision, which are yet to be determined. As a result of the collision, Lincoln Highway is currently closed to tra traffic, and we ask that people that need to travel through that area use alternate routes and avoid the area due to the congestion that is already being seen at that location. These deaths that occurred this morning are the 25th and 26th life lost on the South Australian roads this year. That's in comparison to 12 at the same time last year. We keep em emphasising that we cannot tolerate the risks that people take on the road. This is significantly contributing to lives being lost and serious injuries which change people's lives. The message today is that every collision is preventable. If people drive with consideration, abide by the road rules and protect themselves and protect other road users by their behaviours, we can help reduce the impacts of road collisions and serious injuries. 26 road deaths this year, 12 at 12, the same time last year. Whilst we celebrated a very low lost lives uh, number last year, that is not represented into what's happening to date this year. Of those 26 deaths, 19 of them have occurred on country roads, with only seven of those lost lives in the metropolitan area. We've had significant campaigns in the past demonstrating that three and four, dry, uh, three and four lives lost occur on country roads. These numbers are more than numbers. These are loved ones, these are family members, these are friends, these are children. Any life lost on our road is one too many. The ripple effect of any collision on the road, whether it's a life lost, a serious injury or just a collision, has ripple effects through people's families, through their friends groups and the way that people have to cope with trauma as a result of the behaviours that people demonstrate on the roads resulting in collisions. If you're driving on roads, please plan your trips, particularly in the country, and allow adequate rest breaks for each leg of your trip. When driving, please stop and think about your decisions that you're about to make. Stick to the speed limit. Don't be distracted whilst you're driving by the use of your phone or other things that are occurring in the vehicle or in your immediate vicinity. Don't consume alcohol or drugs before driving. Wear your seatbelt. Let's stop the count here. This does not need to be, there does not need to be any more lives lost this year. The effects of these collisions have huge ramifications for each family, each person that these people know and the community as a whole. SAPO are continuing to work towards having safer roads and having higher levels of education for people using roads. We need to stop the numbers for the, road, for the lost lives for the year. Thank you for that. Given that we're double the amount of 
deaths on roads this year than where we were last year, and majority are on country roads. Is it a is a matter of complacency of drivers on those roads that know them like the back of their hands and they're just not concentrating enough? Or is it we need a, a further police presence out there? Police are undertaking strategic deployments of our, of our resources that we have in those locations. The um, prevalence of these collisions occurring on country roads is mainly attributed to the what we refer to as the fatal five offences which I've just referred to, being speeding, seat belts, drug and alcohol, driving whilst under the influence of drug and alcohol, not wearing seat belts and dangerous or distracted driving. That doesn't change and we are continuing to see those practices undertaken through our investigations with major crash as the key cause of the collisions. Are there any contributing factors with this uh, particular crash? I know there was like a tire, burning tire fire in the area or nearby, smoke, you know, been a factor. What about speed or fatigue? Any of those things at this early stage that you might consider to be a, a factor? There's always factors to each collision. In relation to this one, it, with its recency, we are undertaking an investigation to establish the cause of the collision. At this stage, I can't comment on that. We're still under investigation. And both parties were from Wales. Is there any indication that they knew each other? No, they did not know each other. Are you amazed, you know, someone's actually survived this, this crash, you know, two cars head on? At the severity of the crash, it is extraordinary that we've uh, had one person that um, has not died as a result of the collision. We are thankful that we have not lost that life. But they have suffered serious injuries and they will have a life-changing effect as a result of the behaviours seen on the road. Do you know where either car was heading or what they were doing during the day? Were they going to work? Were they going home or any other details? Uh, it's unknown at this stage and that will be revealed as part of the investigation. Uh, uh, SAPO will continually work closely with um, other government agencies to review uh, road safety uh, legislation and practices and procedures that we're undertaking to try and make the roads safer. The key message in this is that the police have a role to play, absolutely, but the community and the, drive, the drivers on the road have the key role in this in making the roads safer. Do you think the road safety campaigns are getting through? I mean, you're putting them out there all the time, and I believe you've got more in the pipeline, but do you think they're actually working? Uh, we undertake a, a considerable amount of evaluation of the programs that we are running. Um, hence, you see them change regularly, and we refocus on the points that we are seeing as uh, trends or current issues in relation to road safety. And further to that question, do you think they're getting through to regional people? Obviously, it's we are continuing to attempt to reach out to the country areas. We have um, some research being undertaken currently about strategies that we can employ to further improve road safety in country areas. Um, you would have seen recently that there was a lot of campaigns in relation to country drivers. There was previously a belief by country drivers that it was the city drivers driving the country that couldn't drive on country roads. Statistics have shown that that is not correct. It is country people driving on country roads that are more likely to be involved in a collision of this type. Is it frustrating for SAPOL that the numbers keep climbing despite the messaging continuing to drive out there? Absolutely. As I said previously, every collision is preventable. It's about the behaviours of the drivers on the road. As, as I said before, it's part of the investigation and those uh, elements will be considered as part of that investigation. Thank you.